Can you solve this level 9 maths exam probability problem? Press pause to try it or continue to view my method of solution. I chose to model the problem using a simple tree diagram with outcomes red and blue. First I let the total number of counters be represented by x and recorded the 8 red counters given and then deduced that there must be x minus 8 blue counters. When a counter is picked it is immediately replaced so there will always be the same number of red and blue counters when the next counter is picked. The probability of picking a red counter is 8 over x and the probability of picking a blue counter is x minus 8 over x. So the probability of picking a red counter followed by a blue counter is 8 over x times x minus 8 over x, which is equal to 6 over 25. Simplify by first multiplying out the bracket. Eliminate the denominator of 25 by multiplying both sides of the equation by 25, then cancel. To eliminate the denominator of x squared, multiply both sides of the equation by x squared, and cancel. I need to rearrange the terms to obtain a quadratic equation which is equal to zero. To do this I first multiply out the brackets and subtract 200x from both sides. Then add 1600 to both sides to obtain a quadratic equation equal to zero. Further simplify by dividing each term by two. Now I use the quadratic formula to solve the equation where a equals three, b equals negative 100, and c equals 800. Substituting for minus b in the formula to obtain minus negative 100, plus and minus the square root of negative 100 squared minus 4 times 3 times 800 all over 2 times 3. Simplifying, I obtain 100 plus and minus the square root of 10,000 minus 9600 all over 6. Evaluating the square root gives x equal to 100 plus 20 over 6 and 100 minus 20 over 6. To give x equal to 20 and x equal to 13.3 recurring. Since only whole numbers of counters are relevant, I take x equal to 20 as my solution. There are therefore 20 counters in the bag altogether 8 red and 12 blue. I hope you found this video useful.